Okay, so we know that logistic functions talk about kind of how populations grow. Um, and so how about if we get words about how a population goes, can we write the logistic function to kind of match that story? So in this problem, we have a soccer stadium, and it starts with about 10 people, and in the end, there's 100,000 people. If at the beginning it's growing at a continuous rate of 2% per hour, find P of T. And so to do this type of problem, let's just start with what we know a logistic function works looks like. We know that we're going to have P of T equals L over 1 plus C E to the negative K T. And so there's two kind of easy things for us to do from this problem. First, it tells us the maximum number of people. This is kind of our carrying capacity. This is where it levels off. You know, when the shape of the function is like that, this is our maximum, right? And our maximum in our formula is just L. So we know that this thing is L. There's one other kind of easy thing for us to get from this, and that is this continuous rate here. And so at the beginning, at the beginning of our logistic equation, it grows kind of like an exponential equation, and it ends up growing at this rate, at, at well, at a rate of k. So this 0.02, that's going to be k. So what we know for sure is that we have an L on top of 100,000. And then we have a k on the bottom. We don't know C yet, but we do know that k is 0 0.02. And notice the negative gets left there uh, from the original equation. And so the only thing uh, for us left to find is to figure out what this C is. And so notice they give us one more fact. They give us the fact that there are 10 people in the stadium to start off with. And so what does that mean? Well, this means that at zero, at time equals zero, we have 10 people. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do this below. We're going to do this here. We're going to say, well, when I plug in t equals zero, so I have 100,000, and if I plug in t equals zero, so 1 plus c e to the negative 0 0.02 times zero, I should get what out? I should get 10 out. And so to solve this, it's actually not too bad because this e to the negative 0 0.02 times 0, that's going to turn into a 1. So I'm left with 10 equals 100,000 divided by 1 plus c. And so to solve this, I'll multiply the 1 plus c over there. I'll multiply the 10 over there. So I'll be left with 1 plus c equals 100,000 divided by 10. And so I'll have 1 plus C equals 10,000. And then I'll get C equals 9,999. So the final answer to this problem is that P of T is equal to 100,000 divided by 1 plus 9,999 E to the negative 0 0.02 times T. And the way we started that was by knowing that this, the maximum is this number on top. This growth rate is this k, and then in solving for c, we just kind of used algebra.